Pinterest reported third quarter earnings after the markets closed on Thursday, October 27. Today, Friday, October 28, the stock is up 10% on the day following the announcement. So let's take a look at the figures in a brief review to see what investors liked so much about Pinterest's third quarter results. And the theme here is that Pinterest is a unique social media company when where its users come to its app with an intent to buy something. That's different from other social media apps where users come online with the intent to maybe look at pictures, to communicate with friends, to watch a short video. That's not so much the case with Pinterest where users are coming on there with an idea with something they want to do and they're looking at how to do it maybe or you know if you're looking to set up a home office you're looking at some ideas of which items to buy what kind of desk to buy what kind of monitor to buy and so you're looking at Pinterest to see different setups and if Pinterest can monetize that opportunity by allowing you to shop while you visit the website which is indeed what management's focus has been on lately is to monetize that shopping intent to allow you to not only look at pictures when you're on Pinterest but to also buy things when you're there and so if they're able to you know continue on that path to do that they've got a bright future ahead so overall revenue increased by 8% in the third quarter to 685 million loss per share of 10 cents was down from an earnings per share of 14 cents in the same quarter last year. Recall last year user engagement was much higher as economic reopening had not gained as much momentum as it has this year and as well as Apple's privacy policy changes had not been implemented and macroeconomic headwinds resulting from the Russian invasion of Ukraine had not fully been implemented and so profits were higher for Pinterest last year. Global monthly active users remained flat year over year at 445 million however this is the major key here it increased by 12 million quarter over quarter. That's great news. And specifically, that 3 million users were added from the highly valuable US and Canada region. Users from this region generate a significantly higher average revenue per user. And so the fact that Pinterest added 3 million users from this segment was a tremendous benefit and in my, in my opinion it could be half of the increase in the stock price could be due to the fact that they accelerated user growth from the United States and Canada. They had over the last I think five quarters they had lost users from this region in four out of the five quarters and so the fact that they were able to turn around those losses and return to growth in this region was a major positive. Average revenue per user overall was up 11% globally. The guidance calls for mid-single-digit revenue growth in the fourth quarter, which investors were also encouraged to see that the ever-important holiday quarter, they're expecting mid-single-digit revenue growth. Still, Pinterest is grappling with headwinds from Apple's privacy policy changes. That makes it harder for Pinterest to show targeted advertising advertisements and of course marketers prefer to show targeted ads because that reduces waste right if marketers know that a particular user in Los Angeles is looking for a computer desk then the office depots and the staples in the area could send that user targeted ads showing them some inventory that they have at the local store that's selling at a good price for this consumer to come and purchase to come and pick it up however if they can't target that individual then they're going to end up showing ads to individuals from all across the region who may not be in proximity to the local store which ends up wasting that ad that ad spending and so because the ability for Pinterest to target has decreased resulting from Apple's privacy policy changes marketers are not willing to spend as much and so that's been a headwind additionally marketers from the European region have pulled back investing in advertising because of the uncertainty surrounding from the Russian invasion of Ukraine 
investors are not sure or businesses are not sure how consumers in the region are going to respond to the changing and volatile and unfortunate circumstances that the citizens of those countries are in right now. And so when marketers see uncertainty, they tend to pull back on spending and say, okay, let's wait and see what's going on. Let's wait and see how consumers respond. Let's wait and see how consumers react before we spend all this money on marketing. Okay, and so that's pulling back some advertiser demand. And finally, we still see supply chain disruptions throughout the economy, specifically in uh, chip shortages, which is one of the main areas it's impacting is car manufacturing. And so because there's a shortage of cars, car dealers and car manufacturers don't feel the need to advertise as much because why advertise for something you hardly have in stock you don't want customers to come to your dealership only to find that you don't have that car that they're looking for and then they're going to leave frustrated as you try and sell them something other than what you were advertising in your commercial and so advertisers and dealerships have said, all right, let's pull back on our sales and marketing spending and wait till the inventory recovers before we start spending money on advertising again. So those three factors are hurting advertiser demand and which is why you're seeing, you know, mid single digit revenue growth from a company that's used to growing, you know, double digit revenues over the last previous few years. Okay, so that's all I've got for this Pinterest stock earnings update the company was one of my stocks that i have recommended as a buy and i see this earnings report as further reiteration on supporting the buy recommendation of this stock especially because it re-accelerated growth in users from the u.s and canada region which bring in a significantly higher average revenue per user but if you want to know more about why Pinterest stock is a buy or is not a buy and the argument for and against it I've made a video on that and I'll link to it at the end of this video so if you want to watch it you can I'll see you over there all right thank you for watching I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for all investors of all skill sets and risk levels so I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by more than three times. Go to fool.com slash parkev to get your 10 stock picks now.